what do you think your everyday essence is? And I want you to write it down in your journal if you have a journal here. The body is a living, breathing, thinking, feeling genius. As I said before, we just need to shut up and listen to what the body is saying. So emotion is the language that the body speaks through, as well as sensuality and movement. Those are the three languages that the body speaks. There are 10 iconic body emotions that form and shape us and that move through us. We have hundreds, if not thousands of words for them, but they all distill down into these 10 physiological emotional energies. There are five light emotional energies that form the body and move through the body, and there are five dark emotional energies. There are no such things as bad or negative emotions, just healthy and unhealthy, free or locked, destructive or constructive. They create the shape of your body. Whether it's like an open chest, because I'm a really open person and I like to be, I work really, really, really hard to be liked, or if it's a collapsed body, because I'm a little shy, I've been told no so much, or a ebullient body, a bubbly body, because I was rewarded for being really bubbly. Everybody liked it when I smiled, and so I have this smile that I have all the time. I don't know why. I don't feel happy right now. I'm kind of sad. <laughs> but this is how the body shapes itself, right? The crossing of the arms, fascinating. Be fascinated as I am. I'm more, I, am, I speak body before I speak language, words, because body is the truth. 55% of what we say is the body. 7% like is the words we say, how we say it, the inflection, and how we are acting in that word is the impact. These beautiful emotions create the essence of you. We're gonna play a little game, and we're gonna do some iconic characters, and I want you to scream it out. What are the emotions that shaped this body? Poison ivy. Say the word again. Someone said fiery. So what I did here, what I've done at S Factor, is I've taken the emotions that are dark, that the world tends to see as negative, and I flipped them so that they're actually positive. Because fire is good. Fire builds shit. Fire is powerful energy. So, and discerning, and rebellious, and reticent, and depth. Those are more positive ways of seeing words that we, send, we tend to say, oh no, I don't want to be sad. But I'm deep. Got it? So who is she? What was the one? It, does everyone agree she's fiery? Courage, good one, good one, okay. <laughs> Rebellious, yes, yes, he's a naughty provocateur. You're gonna, I'm gonna get to the, okay. So these, <laughs> badass, but what emotion is it? I can't hear you. Depth and courageous. I love them both, and I think there's a little shy reluctance. I think there's a little reticence in there with those sunglasses and the big coat covering his body a little bit. Lusty. Lusty. Good one. That was an easy one. Loving. Does anyone see anything other than loving here? Shy. Reticence. You see it, can you, see, you can see it in the tilt of her head and the pull of her smile, the reticence, pulls her body back a little bit, a little bit. It's brilliant when you get into body reading. You guys are gonna body read everyone in your life now. It's really cool. So what happens is what I've done is I have taken these emotional energies and for 22 years I have been in a dark studio watching half-naked women dance. And what I found is that their bodies would reveal their erotic creature essence, which is based on those 10 emotions. So I built the erotic creature library around those 10 emotions for both masculine and feminine bodies and masculine and feminine energies. So when you 
cultivate your five feminine geniuses or your five masculine geniuses through the five layers of a soulfully sexy life, that is when you will reveal to yourself who you are as an erotic creature. You can think you know who you are as an erotic creature, but you saw how that failed for me, right? I thought I was the pink person because I know my everyday essence. So here's the cool thing. You form your body in your everyday mask, usually very, very different than your erotic body. So I have this kind of ebullient everyday energy and that's what I thought my erotic was, but my erotic was actually the exact opposite. My erotic energy was fiery, dangerous challenger energy, I'll show you. These are the 10 feminine iconic erotic creatures. The innocent teaser, she's based in surprise. The lustful lover, you can see the shapes in the body here, guess? The champion, the shy, reluctant enigma, the joyful playmate, the dangerous challenger, naughty provocateur, deep, soulful siren, blissful pleaser. This is the masculine version. So women and men, we have all of these iconic energies in our body and the ability to flow all of these emotional energies through our body. But your body will take a shape and an essence like we just saw when we did that little game we played, right? So finding out what your essence is, that was revelatory for me. It was revelatory for my relationship to my husband and understanding why I was attracted to a man that was darker than I was in, in, in mood, darker in, in, in emotional spirit. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> He's right there. Okay. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna, you're gonna see this so many times because we're gonna do some deeper journeying. I'm gonna go through each one. This is the joyful playmate. This is a body that shapes itself through interaction. This body just likes to be, especially in the healthiest aspect. In the healthiest aspect, this body is engaged, wants to go out partying, athletic, wants to just do, do, do. I'm going to go fishing, and then I'm going to go to the bar, and then I'm going to go sightseeing, and then I'm going to go skywalking, you know, skydiving. Joyful Playmate likes to interact with life or someone. This is the feminine, this is the masculine. In its unhealthy aspect, the joyful playmate tells all the other energy to shut up. And then you get that smile stuck on your face that you don't really feel. Look, I'm doing it right now. Try it, try it, try to get that, put that fake smile on. How does it feel? It's awful. Feel like, I feel like, yeah, yeah. Okay, the next one is the blissful pleaser. This is a body, okay, so this is a body, when I talk about body emotion, it's emotion that the body experiences. I would actually, um, I would argue that every mammal feels these emotional energies. So this is the body that is compelled to nurture. So has anyone here had kids? Um, when your baby cried, did milk come down out of your breast? Did you feel the heat? Of called a letdown, that's love. Because love is not a word. I, I, I don't believe in love as a word. I believe, in, I believe in love as an action. And the body's action of giving, nurturing. Um, my, I got pregnant. My husband and I weren't husband and wife yet. And we were like rocky. But the minute I got pregnant, this one over here started working nonstop because he was compelled to provide, protect, couldn't help himself. He was driven by this love for this creature inside of me. Yeah? The innocent teaser. If you ever, have you ever gone up behind a cat and then like, like clapped your hands really loud and it just went, ah! <laughs> the cat just leaped in the air? That's an innocent teaser. That's the surprise that lives in all mammals, right? But I have a lot of surprise in my everyday. I have a lot of innocence in my everyday. It's in the way that I pull my face up. It's in the way that my voice comes up. It's in the way I pull my body up. So there's a lot of up energy in the innocent teaser. I was rewarded a lot in my everyday for having that innocence. Right? 
Who are you as an erotic creature? As I'm going through here, try to just feel into each of these emotional energies in your own body, in, the own, in the, your own shape of your eyes, your face, your mouth, your shoulders, your hips, your pelvis, your legs. This is the beginning. Awareness, conscious awareness. Remember, conscious awareness of intentional embodiment. Those are the four words that will lead you beautifully through this gorgeous journey of reclamation. So becoming aware just because you start to think down into your body, your body's all of a sudden beginning to titillate. Your body's going, oh my God, he's thinking about me. Oh my God, she's thinking about me. I'm waking up. I'm waking up. Feel it in your belly. Feel it in your, your, your ass. Feel it in the bottoms of your feet right now. Feel it waking up. The lustful lover. <laughs> this body shape is pure hedonism. I, I am so jealous of this body. <laughs> I don't have this body. I'm working on this body right now. 22 years, 23 years in, I'm still working on different iconic energies because I want them to move more through my body. But this is a body that just feels decadent pleasure, wants everything to feel good. This is a body that is so um, just able to let go into a big fluffy down comforter and just writhe around for four hours without thinking about time. Who has this body? Me. Oh, good for you, I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. Because the, the healthy aspect is that. The unhealthy aspect is that she does it for 24 hours. Because she can't. Oh. It's a beautiful thing when she doesn't keep you in stasis, that she still continues to move forward, right? He still continues to move forward. I know he's kind of cute. <laughs> I don't have a crush on him, baby. <laughs> Just you. <laughs> the champion, the champion body. This is a body that has been beat the fuck up, knocked down, got back up, knocked down again, got back up. This is a body that is resilient. The, 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 the challenge with creating a fluid champion body is not to shut it down, is to not stay down when you get knocked down, but get back up. Who knows this body really, really, really well? I know this body in my everyday life very well. So this is another aspect of my everyday iconic energy. And we tend to, and I, I wasn't going to go this deep with you, but we tend to have three in our everyday and three in our erotic. And they're usually not the same three. So in my everyday, I have innocence, champion, and blissful pleaser. My erotic energy that you saw is dangerous challenger, deep soulful siren, and shy reluctant enigma, which we'll get to in a second. So this is the body I know. He's cute, too. I know, guys, the chicks are good, too. I should say that, too. Yeah. The ice queen and the ice king, you got to love them. They're so fucking arrogant. <laughs> They're just so yummy. And I have been working on my ice queen. I actually got to work on my ice queen today with the, with the two gentlemen who helped me up. I was like, I'm going to ice them, man. I'm going to ice it. Drop my, th I've just felt really good. So I practice the ones that are weaker so that I can get full range of myself moving through my body. Yeah? It's exciting. How these guys come to love, how they come to love is what's super fascinating. And that's a deeper level as well, but this is Mind Valley, so I'm going to go there. So how the Ice King, who, who does the Ice King yearn for in love? Who does the Ice Queen yearn for in love? Anyone can, can guess? Oh, wait, we're not there yet. Okay, darn it. I'll go back. Because I haven't gotten to the one that's going to melt her. The deep soulful siren body. This is a body that has experienced pain. Whether it's physical pain, psychic pain, emotional pain. That hasn't frozen her. But she's still alive in it. And she's okay with it. And she knows it's depth and not stuck in a cycle of victimhood. Who knows the deep soulful siren? 
I love her very, very much. I love him very, very much. Oh, Benicio. They seek, <clears throat> the deep soulful siren is like a collapsed dark star. You know how the star collapses and then the pool of gravity is so great that nothing can escape it? When you are living healthfully and fluidly in your deep soulful siren, your magnetic pull is maybe stronger than any of the other iconic energies, but what you crave is to be filled up to the depth of your soul and your body. And very few, very few iconic bodies, the joyful playmate cannot fill that up, right? Looking for another deep soulful siren sometimes. The naughty provocateur! Okay, well you're gonna see a little naughty provocateur today, I think. Um, she's shaped, she is shaped from the only man-made emotion of shame. Shame does a lot of things to the body. Shame shuts the body down. Shame um, turns the body inside out. Shame freezes the body. Um, or if you push back against shame, you turn into the naughty provocateur, which I have in my everyday life as well, which is why I'm on a stage half naked. Um, <laughs> because I like to provoke things that are not true. I like to provoke rules that are false. I like to provoke things that um, I don't think are fair. And here's the masculine version of that. And the next one is the shy, reluctant enigma. The shy, reluctant enigma. This is a body that's been shaped in fear. And again, the dangers in fear and with fear is that you can freeze and you become a frozen entity and you don't occupy your body. You're maybe here from your armpits up. The shy, reluctant enigma is, again, mesmerizing. And she just, uh, very similar to the deep soulful, pulls you in, pulls you towards him or her. The difference, the feminine wants to be exposed, the masculine doesn't necessarily want to be exposed. The next body shape is the dangerous challenger. This is a body shaped in anger, irritation, rage. And by the way, all of these iconic emotional energies, they have a spectrum from slightly peeved to Ballistically enraged, volcanic, right? This energy in a loving relationship seeks a love battle, fierce kind of fiery interaction with a lover, both of them. She's seeking someone, an energy that can overcome her so that she can open and surrender and he's seeking to break through. And she wants to be broken through too. Same with the ice queen. So the ice queen needs heat to melt in love. And then she'll refreeze later. And then she melts and she refreezes. That's her turn on. So you have an everyday and an erotic essence. You have a triad actually. But I'm just going to ask you to think about what do you think your everyday essence is? And I want you to write it down in your journal if you have a journal here. 